in the dark days of the 14th century, a terrifying disease swept across Europe and Asia, leaving death and despair in its wake. It all began in 1347, when double ships from the Black Sea docked in Sicily. What awaited the people on the dock was a horrifying surprise. Most sailors on those ships were dead, and those still alive were gravely ill, covered in a black hole, oozing blood and paws. This was the start of the Black Death, a devastating global epidemic, a panic plague that will change the course of history. But how did this deadly plague start? Even before the death ship arrived, rumors of a great Palestinians had spread across the near and far east. The plague likely to originate in Asia over 2000 years ago and might have spread through the trading ships. The symptoms of the Black Plague were horrifying, painful swelling, fever, cells, vomiting, diarrhea, and a quick death. This disease attacked the lymphatic system, causing painful swelling in the lymph nodes. If turned untreated, it could spread to the blood or lungs. The Black Death was terrifyingly contagious, even though touching contaminated clothes, healthy people could become victims overnight. Today, we know the Black Death was caused by a germ called Ernestia pestis, which spread through the hair, pelts, and rats. Medieval Europe was the perfect breeding ground for the plague. Edge rats and flies were common everywhere, especially in the sea. After Masena, the Black Death quickly spread to the other four cities like Marche, Tunis, Rome, Florence, Paris, Borax, Lyon, and London. Back then, no one knew how to stop the Black Death. Doctors used onset method like bloodletting and superstitious practices. People fell cities for the countryside, but the disease even affected animals, leading to the wool shortage in Europe. Many believe the Black Death was a divine punishment for sins, leading to spaghetting and attract unfavorable groups. Some caught by joining flagrant groups, wiping themselves in the public displays of penance. The Black Death continued to return, but in one city, Reshuga, officials implemented isolation, giving birth to the term quarantine. Today, we have a better hygiene and antibiotics to treat the plague, but it is still exists, with thousands of cases reported each year. The Black Death may be the chapter from the history, but it serves as a reminder of resilience of humanity in the face of unimaginable challenges. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more fascinating and historical insights. Thanks for watching.